lovers, it's your girl Adez. Welcome back to my show. I'm sure that many of you enjoyed the previous video, which I'm sure that you did. And I would like for you guys to continue to subscribe, like me and comment on it. Today, we'll be talking about another topic entirely similar to the previous video. So today, we'll be talking about online child abuse as we start. So the first question is, what do I know about child online abuse? So what I know about child abuse is that there, there are many parents out there that has children which they like they like the internet a lot and many of the parents they're very protective of their children and uh in terms of the kind of sites that they go on which they don't know that they're on sites that are not good for them and i believe that being being abused is um that that is what they pass through in that situation so what what i'm saying in general is that is not really is not a good thing an ideal thing to go through having to be exposed nude um like being naked and people out there that is on the on the sites that are that are watching and it makes children be so afraid and terrified so what i would advise people that has young children is to be very watchful of what their children do on the internet and put a um a restriction on the kind of websites that they go on so that that way they will not they will not fall into any trouble and they won't um, be afraid again so we'll be now moving into the next question so the next question is have i ever experienced it or know of anyone that has passed through that situation yes i've heard of many cases of people that has passed through that situation which they're really traumatized and um they're so scared that they've been they've been told that they should not go to the police otherwise they'll be killed so what i what i'll say is that you should not be you should not be scared at all in this society is a is a very dangerous society so you have to protect yourself from being harmed and i would have and like i said i would advise many parents to find other measures that will protect their child um like um like get like giving them giving them a phone to use and in a way they'll just be able to be calling they'll be calling you guys to know um to know how far they are or if they're in a situation that they find themselves in so that will be one of the ways to prevent child abuse so we'll now be moving into the next question now how can how can this child be protected from this abuse so to to be protected from the abuse is that they should stay around people people that will um like people that they can they can call out to that they can reach out to in in times of that situation and um because there's there's many good samaritans that um out there that are willing to help young children um, both youths and um and children under 15. so i would just say reach out for help uh, send a message across to to 999 or any any senior person that you see around send a message out to them and let them know that this this problem is happening 
so that that way they they will be be comfortable to speak out to people and um, get the message across and also one thing that I also say is that this is not the end of the world Ma um, many many young children even even to even like from 18 19 going into the um the adulthood they also pass through that problem so it will be it will be good also um there's a there, there is also like a like a, a website for for young children that they can they can they can meet together online or they can set up um they can set up some meetings to do counseling on how to overcome the problem okay so now we'll be moving into the next question so uh, what is the best solution to overcome it so the best solution is to just to speak out and um make and make sh and make sure that there's someone that is close to you who um, who knows you very well, so that that way you and that person can come to a solution and know how to protect yourself. So now we'll be moving into the final question, which is what is the best way of social media to put an end to attackers who take advantage of young children and teenagers? The best, the best way to to over um, like to overcome that situation is that the best way is that they should they should send a message across to the social media um, platform, whether Instagram or Facebook. They should send a message um, send a message out and let them know of that situation so that they can intervene quickly and help that person to come out of that problem. Because like I said, this society is a very, very bad society that we see ourselves into. And um, it's not the kind of thing that people should have to pass through. So, like I said, just um, form like an online uh, website, a group chat or, uh, or meet up with children of your age and um, come together, talk about it and i'm sure that you'll find a solution to come out of all these issues because it's not good at all for any child or any te teenager to pass through this problem because it's very it's very bad because especially i feel sorry for the mothers who they'll bring their child into the world watch their child to grow at a certain age and then they have been abused. It's not right. It's not right for a child to be to be abused online. So mothers, fathers, or godparents, please watch your child or or teenager. Watch them on what they are doing online. Please, I will urge you to watch them and put the at the um the adult. Uh, restriction or the children's restriction on there okay so that will be it for now and join me again in my next video like I said please subscribe like me comment and I'll get back to you in the next video thank you very much for watching God bless you all. bye So, no, 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 no,